Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond NSU. I'm your host, Chloe Ryan, and today I have the honor to be sitting here with Miss Swissina, a NSU grad who graduated in 1998. Thanks. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Good. So do you have a nickname? Because Swissina is unique. <laughs> well, first off, before we get into that, mm -hmm. Where did you get your name from? Well, my father named me. I'm named af after my aunt. It's a family name. She's mm -hmm. Swayzine. I'm Swiss Zena. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has 10 letters in it, so I thought they were trying to be funny when I was a kid. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I love my name. I do have a nickname. It just depends on where you know me from. Mm -hmm. um, here in Norfolk State, most people uh, call me Zena. Mm -hmm. if in California, most people call me Swiss okay. or Swizzy. You know, there's Z-Pac, Z, I have so many. <laughs> Z-Pac. <laughs> Z I love that. <laughs> so do you mind if I call you Zena while we talk today? Go for it. Okay, Zena. <laughs> so what made you choose at SU? Well, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to go to an HBCU. Mm -hmm. uh, when it came down to it, it literally came down to NSU or Hampton. Uh -huh. okay. And then at the time, uh, my parents are retired military. Mm -hmm. So in Texas at the um, on base, I knew a lot of people from Virginia. Mm -hmm. And everyone that I knew said, if you want to have the full college experience, you need to go to NSU. Okay. And <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> All right. Yes. Were you involved in any organizations while you were here? Yes. All, I was NSU player. Uh, I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I was a member of Student Government Association. I modeled with Raytron, L. White. Okay. Uh, so yes, all the things, a gamut. Right. What was your and I was a cheerleader. Oh my God, oh. how was I not going to say that? Yes, I was a <laughs> Norfolk State University cheerleader. Awesome. What was your position in Student Government? Oh goodness, what did I do back then? That is a really good question, because I never ran for office. Mm -hmm. I was just a part of uh, the administration and because I, I, I did it for multiple years with multiple different groups. That so came were you in like out. for a part of different classes? Uh, or like were you in your I, class council? I was not. I oh. was, it was, okay, so Norfolk State used to be really different, so I don't know how it's <laughs> set up yeah. now, but you could be a part of the student government administration at the time, whether you would uh, come in and just help work on events, or, mm -hmm. you know, we used to throw the concerts and you do homecoming, but you could just work on mm -hmm. whatever the specific events that the entire administration that you were working yeah. with was in. Uh, yeah, I was in back with, oh goodness, John G. and... Anthony Walters and like uh, mm -hmm. Leroy Brandt, like multiple years, the entire mm -hmm. time. Very interesting. I hadn't thought about SGA in that way in a very long time. I'm <laughs> sure someone's going to watch this and like, girl, you did. Your, t your job was. It's been a longer. So long what was your matriculation like through college? It sounds like you were super duper busy. So how yeah. did you balance all of that and on top of your schoolwork yeah. and while having a social life as well? Uh, it was just what you did. I don't know. First of all, I was younger, mm -hmm. so <laughs> energy level was different. Yeah. And um, the theater is probably where I, you know, spent most of the time because of rehearsals yeah. and things like that. Uh, and then, of course, cheering. And we used to travel. I don't know how it is now, but uh, we used to fly to our games. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to lose bus time and things like that. So I just I just had a calendar and uh, I said yes to events, no to some, but for the most part, it was it was just a good time. You just woke up and mm -hmm. did NSU <laughs> and I did it all. I had a great experience. I love my school. Oh, me too. <laughs> um, so you studied mass communications. Mass communications and journalism with the okay. emphasis in public relations. Okay, so what made yes. you want to go in that way? Well, I had come from high school of performing arts out of Dallas. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to go straight into theater. But what happened was I was so, I had so much training behind me already in performance. So I was like, okay, I can minor in theater and mm -hmm. I want to do something else that I love to do. Yeah. And I enjoyed the idea 
of PR, you know, still the being idea. that the idea of it, you know, mm -hmm. still being the person in the forefront, still being a representative for a company, still, you know, being the face of a company and, mm -hmm. and fixing people's problems when they mess up. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I can do that. I'm a troubleshooter. Okay. <laughs> So when you graduated, mm -hmm. I know you're a director now, and we're going to yes. get into more of your directing yes. experience and acting, mm -hmm. but when you graduated, did you go into PR at all? I actually didn't. When I graduated, I came back um, for NSU Players as a professional actress, so once you do that, at the time, you could come back and then you would be paid oh, wow. uh, to perform here. And then I left and did a job uh, with a theater company called Theater 4 out of Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then with them, I toured the United States. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, came back, toured Europe um, as an actor. So the acting jobs on stage just picked up. So mm -hmm. I never had the opportunity mm -hmm. to go and apply for a job. As Soon as I graduated, I just, I started working as a professional actress. Yeah. Yeah. So where did your love for acting come from? I started acting when I was eight. Oh wow! Uh huh. In elementary school, uh, in a play about Thomas Jefferson, and I mean, I knew from then. I knew it. Yes, immediately, and I performed all the way through. And then I auditioned for high school performing arts in Dallas and got in. And I mean, the rest is history. Oh, Just always say. been doing it. Always known. So where are you from originally? So I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. Okay, you're originally from Dallas, yes. Texas, and you went to a performing arts school? Yes. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's called Booker T. Washington High School of Performing Visual Arts. Oh, cool. We got a Booker T. Washington right around the corner. We do. Uh, <laughs> we do. Two different um, curriculums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, for sure. Okay. So now let's talk about directing. Okay. So how did you get into that? So you were acting first. Yes. And then... Where did the shift come from so acting to directing? When I was doing stage here, mm -hmm. uh, still as a student, uh, Dr. Murray, RFP, miss him, um, he brought me on as a choreographer. And so I started choreographing some of the, um, the musical numbers in our shows. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I started assistant directing I stage managed, then I assistant directed, and then I okay. uh, picked up a job at a community theater in Texas as an assistant director to Dream Girls. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then uh, once I moved out to California, there were other stage mm -hmm. jobs and everything that I directed for sure. But then when I moved out to California, when I, my first year there, the acting jobs were a plenty. And then they started to slow down. So then my husband said, okay, we need to start shooting our own stuff. And I was like, I do not want to shoot my own stuff. I want to shoot other people's stuff. I just want to act. Yeah. And he was like, no, we're going to have to create our own lane. So um, I started directing film in California. Okay. Yeah. And which do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy acting, the directing? Gosh, everybody asked that. Um, it's crazy. I, I'll, I'll say it like this. Um, acting is my is my firstborn. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my first baby. Okay. And then directing is my second child. And you try to say, you know, your parents say I love them the same, mm -hmm. uh, but differently. Yeah. The directing for me now, though, is um, since it's newer, mm -hmm. it's, it's got a fresh it's a fresh type of love. Yeah. You know, it's, and it's, it's like, got that baby smell on it. Yeah, and it's kind of like you don't know what this is going to grow into. You don't know what's next, but you're loving what well, you're doing in the moment. Well, I, well, I, I'm pretty certain of where it's going. Okay, where is it I going? I do. <laughs> where is it going? I'm pretty certain of where it's going. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think I'm a pretty great filmmaker, mm -hmm. and I've won. I've, I've won a few awards as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm shooting my first feature. I'm uh, in March of next year. I am being picked up to uh, shoot a pilot mm -hmm. at, in the spring. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the career, it's the mm -hmm. career. And I still audition for acting. I still get in front of the camera. I just find that I'm behind the camera a little bit more now than in front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what movies you want to direct in the future? Like, do you have 
That's what I meant when oh. I said, um, like you, what type? Yeah, I shoot, have, I shoot horror. Oh, you do horror movies. I do horror movies. Ooh, let's talk about that. Yes, I do horror movies if they're mine. Um, okay. And I shouldn't say if they're mine, but when I get the chance to write and direct my own projects, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, you can guarantee that it's going to be in the horror genre. Okay. When I get uh, hired freelance, then, you know, I do all, all things. But I've yeah. done uh, comedies. Um, comedies, dramas, but I'm a horror baby for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can you name a few of the films you've made? Oh, yes. Um, I have, my most popular one is called Cult. Mm -hmm. Fear is not of God. It is, it was in the HBO Latino Film yes. Festival. Uh, Francelli was in it. She was my lead actress. She won Best Lead Actress at, in that festival. I've done a comedy called Six Feet. I have uh, a drama that's in festivals now called Villain. Okay. Um, I've done a, a film noir piece uh, called Writer's Block. Mm -hmm. um, a drama called Claudette. Do I have you have a, a favorite? Do I have a favorite? Well, I I think <laughs> I think that uh, Cult was mm -hmm. the one where I got to be a hundred percent me as mm -hmm. far as my vision my thought process, my words, mm -hmm. you know, what I wanted the audience to see, what I wanted them to hear. Yeah. You know, I think that's the one that I cultivated from, uh, from a deep place. Mm -hmm. However, all of them I enjoy. I enjoyed all of them for different reasons because I love working with actors because that's how I started. Yeah. So yeah. why the love for horror? What made you... <laughs> Stick with this genre, you know. I've I've always loved horror. As uh -huh. a kid, I've always loved horror. I used to watch all of the Nightmare on Elm Streets and the Jasons and mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. But I think that I really enjoy it now more so than anything because I want to show the world what it looks like when we're in the horrors. I make mm -hmm. urban horrors. So, you know, it won't be any, you know, non-black people falling on the ground, running and looking up and screaming out, ah! It's, yeah. it's never going <laughs> to be that. It's always going to be us, real situ you know, real situations, how we would react. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't have to worry about knowing if we're going to die first in the movie because we're all through the movie. I like so, that. So, yeah, we, we have a voice and we enjoy horror and the world needs to see what it looks like when we're in that situation. Okay. Yeah. So where can we find Colt? Cult is in multiple places, mm -hmm. um, but you can find it on YouTube, if I can say that. Let me see. <laughs> I, I don't know that I can actually say that you can do that. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying that, let me go back. The reason why I'm saying that is right now it is housed on, I'm in, I'm about to graduate with my MFA in directing and acting from Mount St. Mary's University in Hollywood. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. And right now it has a home on the website for uh, the student, uh, the student site. So when people want to see what our program looks like, our department, our, mm -hmm. our film department, I am highlighted. Yeah. So I shouldn't say you can see it on YouTube because you mm -hmm. can't just go there and access it, yeah. but you can go to the MSMU site and click on it and watch it that way. Okay. Other than that, it is um, still making some of the film circuits and there's two versions of it. So there's the director's cut that's on the MSMU website. Okay. And then there is the student version <laughs> because <laughs> I was required, I was required um, to change the ending uh, oh. while I was, yes, while I was uh, in this particular class for the university. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I'm not going to just give you your ending and not do my ending. So I mm -hmm. shot both endings. As you should. So there's a direct, thank you. So there's the director's cut and then there's a student, uh, the student cut, which is also just as great. And you can see that on genre TV. Uh, on, okay. on a Roku, if you have a Roku device, oh, you can watch it. You can watch okay. it on genre TV. Say less. Yes. All yes. right. <laughs> so what advice would you give to film students here at NSU or even mass comm students who are interested in going into acting or directing? What would you say to them? I would tell them to, that they can do it, that it's not, it's not as scary as the idea is maybe in their head. 
Um, mm-hmm. I will be completely honest. It is not the most stable um, field to go into. Mm-hmm. It is an uphill battle, but it's a rewarding one. Um, I would tell them to just get started, to understand and not to compare themselves to their friends who have the stable jobs mm-hmm. because it does look it looks different uh, when you mm-hmm. live a creative life. A uh, Tuesday and a Saturday, it's all the same there. You know, there's no nine to five, you know, in that way you can you can work straight through the weekend. You can it so. It's, it's just completely different. And don't put yourself in a position where you see your friends with their 401ks and their, you know, yeah. and with their five bedroom, three bed, you know, they get it yeah. faster mm-hmm. because they go into a stability sooner. Mm-hmm. But just know that it's it's there and it's a beautiful, beautiful life to actually wake up and live the dream every day. So go live the dream for sure. Do it. OK. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time. Thank you so much for sharing your brilliance and your wisdom, Swasina. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Beyond NSU. I'm your host, Chloe Ryan, and we'll see you next time.